Hey guys, so we just arrived at Nymphenburg Palace. Um, we're gonna explore it today and see what it holds. Yeah. To get to Nymphenburg, we took an e-scooter from Munich. So it's eight kilometers from Marienplatz to Nymphenburg Palace. And um, taking the e-scooter was loads of fun. And a bonus point is you don't have to pay for parking. The admission fee um, is 15 euros for a combination ticket. So it includes the palace itself, as well as the carriage museum and the porcelain museum, as well as the park palaces, which is highly recommended. It's also part of the Munich City Pass, if you are planning to get one of those. Nymphenburg Palace was built in 1664 and since then it has been extremely popular with the Bavarian rulers as a summer residence. This particular room is where King Ludwig II was born. The next room is quite impressive. It's called King Ludwig I's Gallery of Beauties. From 1827 to 1850, the king ordered court painter Joseph Steeler to create the impressive series of portraits of 36 beautiful women from a variety of social classes. It ranges from the daughter of a shoemaker to the daughter of a king. And we're making our way to Pahundenburg. And it's a beautiful little walk. The park palaces are quite large, 180 hectares to be precise. The gardens have a Baroque design and are modelled on the park at Versailles. Pagandenburg was built between 1716 and 1719. Behind its elegant facade is an enchanting ensemble consisting of a tiled hall, a resting room and a lacquer cabinet, an early manifestation of the Chinese fashion at court. So we were walking in the gardens of Nymphenburg and we found the most beautiful photo spot. Look at that. Elector Karl Albrecht dedicated this hunting lodge called Amalienburg to his wife. It was built between 1734 and 1739. It's one of the most exquisite examples of court architecture and decoration from the Rococo age. Our last stop was the Carriage Museum. It's one of the most important museums of court carriages, travel and equestrian culture in the world. We hope you enjoyed our tour of Nymphenburg Palace. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you see where we are going next.